Hello, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. My name is Sir Chemis. We're gonna do another Cove mission. We're gonna do another Activate 3 Protective Wards because we want the Cursed Incense. And we want to level up our healers. This time we're gonna be focusing on our Occultist who I have given the Ancestor's Portrait. Uh, I also want to use with him the, not the Sacrificial Stab, not really anyway, but rather the Abyssal Artillery. Although, the, do we need the corpse clear? I don't think, really think that we need the corpse clear. We can target the uh, the back row pretty effectively with Abyssal Artillery and stuff that the Plague Doctor can do. Namely the, um, uh, the Plague Grenades and all that sort of thing. Although that does mean that we cannot really... F oh well, he can use a Sacrificial Stab, so he should be quite effective in the front as well. Alright, so um, we want to be using the Abyssal Artillery with him, because we've enhanced it a little bit with the Fuseman's Matchstick. The Ancestor's Portrait is going to help him level up a lot quicker, which is also going to be nice. He's a Cove Adventurer, meaning that he receives less stress damage in the Cove, so he should be well suited for this mission. Then the Plague Doctor, same trinkets as last time, same skill set as last time. Uh, Blasphemous Vile, which is Vile, all pretty standard. Also, same as last time, Sacred Scroll and a Profane Scroll on the Vestal. She is a, quite a good tank in the second position, as it turns out. Uh, I've upgraded all of their skills as well, by the way, so they, uh, they should be doing quite nicely. And finally, we have the Crusader, who has a Fear of Mankind, and I'm kind of thinking of swapping the Ancestor's Pen out. For something different, something that maybe doesn't cause increased stress damage and maybe deals some extra damage against Eldritch, plain and simple. That would actually also allow me to use the Zealous Accusation, which I haven't upgraded, so I'm gonna do that right now. Because the nice thing about. Oh no, wait, this is Noyers, right? Yeah, he's Slugger, so his melee skills are better anyway. Hmm. Well, I think Zealous Accusation might still work in some circumstances, although Stunning Blow also is a very good ability, of course, to use. Um, I think I've mentioned all the party members now, so I guess we can simply go into the dungeon. But there's one more important thing that I need to mention, and that is the fact that I'm gonna do this dungeon in the dark. And that's going to be quite upsetting, I'm sure. So we shouldn't definitely forget to bring medicinal herbs this time as well. I'm also going to bring more holy waters. Even, no, anti-venoms I don't really think I'll need. But bandages, yes. Bandages, yes, yes. Um, actually, I, I think I'll, I'll have enough for... Uh, five is enough, I think. Uh, skeleton keys, let's bring two because last time we didn't have enough. We were very luckily... Very, we very luckily found one near the end. Alright, that's everything, right? I mean, I could bring a couple of torches, but I don't think that anything can be activated with torches in the cove, though. So, I guess this is gonna be it. Ugh, this is always scary. Alright, very linear layout. But that's fine. I don't think that I'll kill the torch light right from the bats. I don't think that I will do that, simply because that gives me a little bit... Oh, come on! Two traps in one hallway? Whoever does that? Probably someone who really doesn't want us to go somewhere. If there's nothing in this room, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, there's a treasure room. And we do have four shovels, so I suppose that going there is worthwhile. Our empty sack. But obviously no uh, protective wards here. Madman, okay, he's gonna go first, no surprise there. He's not Eldritch, so unfortunately we will not be dealing as much damage against him with Abyssal Artillery as we would like. But we can stun him, which is good. And then one Abyssal, or two Abyssal Artilleries in a row should be able to uh, clear him out. He resisted the bleed, which is nice. You should probably start dealing some regular damage. Wow! Okay. Well done, girl. Well done indeed. And that's 8 damage against the two backline units, which is also very nice. 
We should probably start smiting this guy. We deal very nice damage against him. Um, that's okay. That's kind of gonna get in the way of the plague grenades and um, stuff that I was planning on doing. I could actually stun, but I would rather land the blights on the madman. He is now going to be dead, which is good. Seven damage against the occultist. He can heal himself up if he has to, and we always have the vest who can do a group heal, so that's nice. Um, I think he, he needs to heal himself, or maybe the sacrificial stab. Sacrificial stab is not going to do enough, so I'm going to heal. Ten hit points, very nice. No bleed. Excellent. Okay. Um, heal some damage. And he's dead. The madman should also be dead. And then the only one who remains... ...is the plastic grouper in the back, who we cannot reach, unfortunately, with the Crusader. Okay, now he's going to be dead. Very nice. Bit of loot. Nothing that we are really interested in. Take that. Dodge stone, yeah. Uh, anti venom, anti venom. I think it's worth more than the anti venom. All right, let's go back. And there's a trap, and we don't have our highwayman with us, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. Who is who? This who is going to disarm this trap? Damn, that sentence is not so difficult. Why? Why do I have trouble with it? Anyway, is that a quest location? Room battle? No, it's not. Nor is the blip in front of it. Okay, yet another fight. A pelagic shaman can deal stress damage, which we do not want. But we should be able to kill him outright. Okay, nice. And then... Um, some blight at the front. Uh, some damage at the front. And then you can do zealous. And we got one kill and the other one should die from the venom. Alright, buy the book. Uh, torch I don't want. Although I'm kind of terrified of the darkness which is gonna encroach on us any time now. Heirlooms don't want them. Thank you very much. There we are, there's the darkness. And there is a fight that I'm not looking forward to. Call of the Jeep buffs up a unit. So much so that I'm seriously contemplating stunning or blighting him out of fear, basically. But let's stun the background instead. You can, ooh, you could use a sacrificial stab against this guy and if you crit you might kill him. Nice, okay, that's good, that's an excellent start. Stun comes off. Barnacle Barrier, he is now protected. That's too bad because I was planning on attacking him with the Vestal or the Crusader. Although a zealous accusation can still hit them both. And... Oh. Really irritating. Could do a group heal. Could do a hand of light. I suppose we should deal some direct damage. It's barely anything, but it will... It might help in the long run. Uh, he's still stunned, so stunning him again is no option. Noxious Blast against this guy, sure. It is gonna get through his protection with great ease, so that's at least something. 10 damage, not quite enough for the kill. This is gonna get one kill and do a little bit of damage to the other one, and then she can do that. But unfortunately that doesn't mean that we get one more stress attack from the Pelagic Shaman, probably. Okay, what is our speed? Nine. Okay, we were lucky there. So no stress attack for you, and you can do a bit of healing on the Crusader, why the hell not? It's barely worth it, but it is still worth it. Nice! That does increase the torch light a little bit, by the way. So we should take care using that one. Um, citrine... A stack of citrine is probably going to be worth more than the dodge stone. 
Let's do that. Let's kill the torchlight as well. Use a shovel on this. And hopefully we have room for this stuff. That wasn't great, honestly. That was actually kind of abysmal. As far as uh, loot from this shell goes. But anyway, let's continue on. Now we are, of course, in the full darkness. So anything that happens now is going to cause a lot of stress. Uh, we would rather have this than the... Citrin. Do we want to use a shovel? Well, let's see. I think I'm gonna take a gamble on this and simply take the risk and hopefully get a bit, little bit of loot out of it. Didn't get it, but um, we still have a long way to go. So I think that holding on to the shovels for now is the best play. Curio, there is a quest location right there. Already been looted. We don't have a lot of room for stuff anyway. Okay, excellent. Free up an inventory slot. And do I want to go south? There's going to be a battle there. I don't want to backtrack later on, so I guess I'm going to go there. Get the experience. Um, I suppose she could blight this guy. That will kill him over time. And with the Zealous Accusation we may be able to... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Anyway, let's try to kill this guy. 11, that's not quite enough. Spear facing against our Plague Doctor, only 4 damage, that's fine. Zealous. Okay, one hit point is all the damage that we need there. Then we get to kill on the first Pelagic Grouper, and the next round we can kill the other Pelagic Grouper. Although we might also go for a heal. I don't think I need that just yet, so let's get a crit there. Okay. Do we have... We have. Do we need? We don't. Although it also has a chance of... Um, Giving us some jewels and such. So let's try this. Ah, oh, wow. That's excellent. I'm glad I didn't uh, ignore that. As a matter of fact, I'm glad I didn't ignore this little uh, side path here. The curio there. No... Uh no protective wards. Okay, hungry event. Um, you know what? Let's try this. A lasting impact on our crusader. Quick reflexes. Plus two speed. Well, since speed is something that a crusader lacks, that is definitely something that I'm happy about. Okay, one stress damage dealer, two units who can deal a lot of damage in general. If we crit, 20% chance to crit, so we might get even get a couple of kills there. Eight damage against both is still decent though. Might want to stun them or blight them. Both are good options. If we blight them, then the cultist acolyte is most likely going to be dead. Which would be good. Seaward Slash. Dodge dead. Alright. Of course, this guy is going to live a little bit. Oh, he actually receives five blights per turn. That's nice. That's very nice. We're gonna take care of that bleed immediately with a bandage, considering that we have many of those. Ten damage to start with, then the Zealous Accusation can finish the job. We critted the one and missed the other. I have mixed feelings about that particular... Um, attack, but um, I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Resisted the bleed, which is good, of course. And then you could do a heal, but there's no real need to. Do a group heal. Okay, and do a stress heal on our Vastal, even though that kills, uh, that increases the torch side a little bit. Uh, 
Fine, I'll kill you. Whatever. Take most of that. And then there's a bit more gold, which I think I'll take. Holy water. We haven't really needed that yet. Yeah, I'm gonna dump that. Okay. Curio, curio. Uh, might give us loot. So I think I'll camp here. We don't need it at all, honestly, but... Um, we don't need the health either, so we only need to, uh, to eat half of the food. And then give ourselves a few nice buffs. Um, he doesn't really have a lot of nice buffs, unfortunately. No, he doesn't. Nor does she. Dark Ritual. No, doesn't help us either. Please tell me somebody has some nice buffs. Nope. <laughs> oh, well, that was my mistake. Uh, that's bad. Unshakable Leader, then, I suppose. Uh, accuracy and dodge on our occultist. Um, six more points. Anything that will give us a buff. I suppose that stress damage resistance would be nice. We already applied it to our occultist. We only have one. Okay, so whatever. Apply it to the, um, the Plague Doctor. Four more points. And this reduces stress by 20 and increases accuracy for four battles. Costs three. Oh, we have another pep talk. All right, so let's apply that to our vessel. And then we have two points remaining, which we can use on uh, leeches. Does anyone have a disease? I don't think that they do. No, they do not. Oh, reduced stress would be better, I suppose. Even though stress is undoubtedly going to increase again. Where's the most stress? 11, so apply it to him. All right. Rests. I don't remember if we had something against ambushes, but we didn't get ambushed anyway. Oh, nice. We get to uh, get a torch, yay. And more importantly, we get to remove a negative quirk. Fear of mankind is pretty bad, and that's like the one thing that's been locked in, I believe, that I care about. So, yeah, definitely gonna use it on the Crusader. Fear of mankind removed. Brilliant. Oh, and by the way, kill the toy slide. Should have done that before I looted the torch, but that's only a minor issue, minor mistake. If you even want to call it a mistake. Okay, nasty trap. 22 stress. More decent loot from here, I'm betting. Okay, two jades. Might want to take those instead of the torch. Not a trap. My god. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Because, you know, inventory space. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's random generation for you. We are, of course, going to continue. There's no reason why we would uh, waste so many... Remaining supplies. Nothing in here. We got a scout. The remain of the dungeon. Okay, we got a couple of fights here, which is nice because those give us loot. Okay. Well, this is in. This is um, uh, unexpected. <laughs> okay. Um, he's, on go he's only got 70 hit points, and we already, um, we have very high leveled up characters, so we should be fine, right? I hope we're gonna be. Since they get respawned anyway, I want to apply damage, um, uh, I want to spread out damage, essentially. 
Uh, he's a collect man at arms. He's probably gonna attack the man, that, uh, the uh, the collector. Ah, uh, he's probably gonna protect the collector at some point. But so the highwaymen are more dangerous, and I can debuff them with the um, hand of light. So I'm gonna do that. Wow, we actually almost killed him with that. Uh, Abyssal, he is Eldritch, so that should work out. I suppose Zelda's accusation is even better. Preventing them from even getting a turn, preventing the collector from uh, getting protected. Lifesteal, how much? Nine? He gets ten out of that, okay. Headhunt? Only six, okay. I can deal with that, I can deal with that. The bleed is nasty though. The bleed is very nasty. I'm gonna ignore it for now, but damn, okay. Um, he should heal himself, probably. This guy is gonna die on his own. So let's use the Maze Bash. 11 damage is definitely worth it. You use Bandage, you heal yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Next time, more luck, hopefully. Um, more Blight against this guy. He's not very Blight resistant. He is gonna die on his own now, unless he gets healed or stuff like that. We do have a Vestal there who we want to smite immediately. No healing for the Collector, no sir. Uh, killing with the Vestal is possible, but not very likely. So instead we want to debuff this guy. Prevent him from getting a very powerful attack in. Okay, you heal yourself for more than two hit points, please. Six is technically more than two. Yeah, I suppose I'll take that. Collect call. Okay, he's gonna be dead on his next turn. That still means that we need to kill the Vestal though, as soon as we can, because otherwise he might get healed up. We also want to blight the Highwayman who still gets a turn. Although we could also have killed him straight outright or whatever with the um, with the Vestal. You can get the kill here. Excellent. And then we only have to wait, I believe, for the Collector to get his turn. And then he dies. Okay, well, we get a puzzling trapezohedron out of that, so I guess I'm okay with that. Um, oh, disarm chance, 80, 70, 70, 70. I suppose you should take it. Even though the chances of you succeeding are not that much higher. Okay. Oh, we got a surprise. That is brilliant. Well, we do want to uh, do this, at least. To back. And then I guess we use a plague grenade, because I think that's gonna kill both of them. Yes, indeed. Well, of course, if the blight lands. And it did, so that's good. We even got the kill on that guy. Oh, wow. We killed three out of the four units. And let's also debuff this guy, make him uh, more useless and reduce his accuracy as well, which is nice. Actually, uh, forget about that, that the uh, end of light also reduces accuracy. It's pretty good, pretty good indeed. Um, then I guess you use your sacrificial staff, because here's Eldritch, after all. Some blight damage over time should take care of him quite easily as well. Not that it matters, because in combination with the smite, everything will work out. A crit heal on our Plague Doctor, and there we go! Wow! Speaking of the raining on touch, we have six Holy Water? How the hell did that happen? Um, Dump... Dump uh, crests, I guess? Um, dump food, I guess. Wow! Ooh -hoo. Okay, and we even have a medicinal herbs for this. Oh my god, two full stacks of onyxes. <sighs> okay, another fight even. Might even get some more loot out of this. They are eldritch, so kill them. <laughs> And that actually takes care of the Sea Maggot as well, so... Before they even get to act. 
25 gold, let's see. Um, it's The food is worth less than 25 gold. Let's take that. Room battle, room battle. Ah, Well, that was like... That was a breeze. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. This is a very good team, though, I have to admit. Ward of the Eldritch Tide. That's apparently the description of this quest. How much gold did we get? Need to sell back all of the food and all the other supplies and the six holy water in our inventory. Yeah, about 20k. And we got two diseases when we returned. Okay. That sucks. Where to go? Yeah, I don't want to get rid of both of those. Okay, uh, let's do that straight away as well. Treatment ward, unquiet mind, don't really mind that one. The yips, yeah, definitely gonna kill that one. You, vertigo, get out of here. Anything for you? No. No disease either, of course. Okay, well, uh, that's good, that's very good. A few standard things that we need to look at now. Once again, two hellions. One is soft and a ruminator. One has night blindness and one uh, receives increased stress damage. She does have the perfect skill set though. The perfect skill set for the Hellion. At least in my opinion. But anyway. Um, how is that leper looking? Gambler? Backtracker. Very average in that regard. Do have another Vestal who is a shocker and a clutch hitter. Doesn't really help me either. Photomania, Warren's Phobe, Clumsy. No, 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 no. You're a horrible people. Um, Nomad Wagon as well. Uh, what do we have here? Martyr Seal. Increased damage on Death's Door. Increased crit on Death's Door. And increased death blow resistance. Now, I've been toying with this idea a lot... Let me see, if you have the trinket from the Crusader, which gives another 12% death blow resistance, you get 24% death blow resistance. So you could create the Crusader, who has a, let me do the math here, um, 71, 92, so he's like, an, say, a 1 in 10 chance of dying on death's door. I mean, that is, those are pretty good odds. Oh, life crystals. I would love to have another one of those. Uh, those are pretty good odds, but... I mean, seriously, do you really want to gamble on that? And you kind of have to fully build your... your uh, you have to kind of, like, focus your entire character on that. So I don't, I don't actually... I don't. I don't think I'll do that. Honestly, it's 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 probably even viable with ninety percent death blow resistance. I mean, uh, even the longest battle lasts like ten rounds. So even if he is on death's door for the uh, from the very beginning, he'll he'll well actually he'll die in that battle. So. Mm. Uh. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I don't think I'll buy it yet, just because I might need some more money to upgrade my characters. My Agatist, for example, is another level higher. But anyway, let's take a look at the quests for next time. Commander's Orders, I don't have one of those, and it is a kind of a nice trinket. In the wield, we could go to activate three infected corpses... Um, we do have a couple of level 3 characters now. Oh, we cannot uh, drag and drop in this location. So we have two occultists, for example, and one Vestal. If we get this Vestal up to champion level very quickly... I think, uh, I think I might do that. So, in that case, I'm next time going to bring a man-at-arms. 
uh, I don't know about you. Actually, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to sort because they get sorted towards the middle. Um, and you... There you go. You need to be in the front because of Iron Swan. I don't want to use the Rampart with you. I kind of want to use the Bala, uh, the, the Bellow. If I combine that with, for example, increased... Uh, increased uh, surprise chance. That could be quite nice. Your fear of mankind, that's kind of annoying. Oh, we need to do a medium length mission as well. Or, or uh, not a medium length, a uh, veteran level. So the only one that really interests me is this one. Get the three ancestors relics. Which is in the cove. Which is annoying because I don't have anything that can... I don't really have anything that can uh, deal blight damage, so we would need to rely on either bleed, which is very unlikely, or direct damage, which is possible, but no, I don't think I'll do that. So now I think I need to go to the worms or to the wheels instead, and I think the wheel is a very good location, because, yeah, I think I'm, I th I think I'm going to go to the wheel, especially since I've been to the worms quite recently, so... Let's do that. Unless this is a very good trinket. This is a nice trinket, but really... I suppose, though... We wouldn't really have any difficulty with that. We wouldn't have any difficulty with that. This is a nice mission, though. But I don't really have anywhere to go. This is a nice party, I mean. But instead, I think what I'll do... And I'm sorry for changing my mind here, but... I think what I'll do is send him into the warrants. Um, could send him as well, even though he has a bit of a negative debuff. Perhaps we could bring someone else? No, any volunteers? Quick draw. Oh no, wait, they're pretty poor. The leper is not that bad. Hmm. Could bring you. He's a warrants tactician, I like it. I like it a lot. And the Plague Doctor can stun if we want to. The Man at Arms would also be nice. Or maybe level up another uh, another Hellion. I do like the Hellion class a lot, so let's do that. And then we want, of course, to bring at least one here. Possibly even two, but now I think it's going to be just the one. Resilient. Da, 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 da. Does any one of you has have disease resistance? No, you do not. Well, in that case, I'm going to pick the one who has the highest level. Okay, like so, I think. This looks like a nice party. So that's for next time. We're going to go into the Warrens, collect the Commander's Orders, and after that we'll probably do a medium uh, or an, a veteran level mission with this party. So, lots of plans for the future. For now, thanks for watching. Join me next time.